I'm here today to teach you about effective listening. Did you know that a lot of people don't know the difference between hearing and listening? Hearing is the awareness of a sound, and listening is actually a skill that takes time and effort to master. You'll be learning about this and more in today's video. Let's go! A lot of people don't know the true meaning of effective listening. Um, so I'm going to give it to you now. Um, effective listening is understanding and comprehending what the person you are talking to is saying and then proving that you understood it later in the conversation after they are done talking. Um, a lot of times people believe that they're actually listening when they're not. They feel like they know where the conversation is going, so they let their minds wander and they're thinking of how to respond instead of actually understanding what's being said, that is not effective listening. You actually need to follow along with the conversation just like you would if you were reading a book. Okay, one tip I will give you in a conversation before we start this video. If a person is venting to you, do not assume where the conversation is going. Because if you assume where the conversation is going, your brain will automatically tune everything out. This will not help you. It will cause more problems and possibly get you into an argument. You are not comprehending what this person is saying, so you are not helping them relieve stress. You don't understand what this person is going through, so you can't help them solve the problem. That is not effective listening. Effective listening is when you stay in tune through the whole conversation so you know how to help this person. That is the best thing that you can do. Step one, stop what you're doing and remove all distractions to keep your mind from going someplace else. Step two, sit in a relaxed position. Step three, let the speaker finish before you start talking. Step four, Summarize what you heard to show that you were listening. Make sure to ask questions. That way your speaker knows that you were interested and make comments on what they said after they are done speaking. Quick info, 45% of your day is spent listening to others. So it's really important for you to comprehend what's being said so you know what's going on and you can build like trust with your friends and the people you work with. And the human brain processes 800 words per minute and that is a lot faster than anyone can talk. So your brain tends to wander off after just a few minutes of listening because it thinks it knows everything when really you're only scratching the surface. The benefits of effective listening include the following. First one being that effective listening increases people's trust in you because they know what they said was heard and understood. The second being that it shows that you appreciate and care about these people because you took the time out of your day to actually stop and listen to them. The third is that being able to talk uninterrupted is a way for many people to release the stress that they feel. So you become an outlet for the panic and weight that they may have on their shoulders and that helps a lot of people in the end. Finally, being able to listen effectively definitely helps you understand how to motivate others and to get them to be the best they can be in anything that you're doing. Up next, we have the right and wrong way to effectively listen. Maddie. Hey, I need you to be home by 10.30 after the football game on Friday night. I have to work Saturday morning. Okay. Is 10.30 my new curfew? No, I just would like you to be home early so that I can get to bed on time since I have to get up early for my shift. Okay. Understand? Mm-hmm. Hey Maddie, I need you to be home by 10.30 Friday night after the football game. I have to work on Saturday. Maddie, would you listen to me please? 